All right, all right. Welcome back. If it's your first time, welcome to English vocabulary and pronunciation. This is where we review different lists and topics and categories of English vocabulary, so that you can become a better English speaker and also a better listener. Because if you know more vocabulary, you can understand more. You're a better listener. We just want to improve your overall English communication skills. So welcome, thank you for joining us. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave comments or questions down below. Please remember to like this video if you find it useful, and subscribe to our channel to see regular daily updates of new lists that we will. Produce. So today's today's category is actually part three of a three-part series on stuff that you find in a house. So this is house stuff part three. If you haven't seen part one and part two, they're on our channel. So go check it out. This list is part number three of the three lists, and it's about twenty-two. Vocabulary words. So we're just going to review these vocabulary words. I'll give you the description. I'll give you the name, the pronunciation. Actually, show you a picture so that you can see what we're talking about. This is all designed to help you grow your your understanding of vocabulary and your knowledge, so that you can speak English in a more clear and fluent way. So let's get started. Number one is nail. Nail. Actually, that's the wrong type of nail. Let's see, hardware nail. So a hardware nail is something that we use. It's a building material. It's something that we use to hammer to connect or to attach things to each other. So with a nail, we always used to have a have to have a hammer. So hammers and nails go together, but this word is nail, nail. Let me show you something else too. You see this one? This is not a nail. This is a screw. We'll talk about that later. Screw. So that's the number one is nail. Number two is paint. Paint. Paint is when you add color, usually to in a house. You paint the walls on the inside or the outside of the house. So sometimes we paint the outside. This is a nice blue house. This is a nice yellow house. Another blue, yellow, green. So we paint the outside of the house. But let's look at also what else do we paint? We paint the bedroom. So you use paint to put color on the wall in the bedroom. For example, this is a nice orange color on the wall, like an orange red color on the wall in the bat in the bedroom. So number two is paint. Number three is picture. Picture. Let's see.、Uh, I want to search for a hanging picture. Okay. So on the wall, you like to have some decoration, and what we do is we hang pictures. Sometimes it's artwork. Sometimes it's design. She is hanging a picture on the wall. Picture. Okay. Number four is plaster. Plaster. If I can spell this correctly. Plaster is the material that we use to cover the wall so that it makes it nice and clean and、uh, attractive. Makes it look nice. We put plaster on the wall. So a picture of this guy putting plaster on the wall to protect the wall and to make it look pretty. Plaster. Number five is plumbing. Plumbing is all the pipes in the house. It could be bathroom plumbing, kitchen plumbing. All of the pipes that bring water into the house is called plumbing. Plumbing. When you need somebody to fix your pipes, 
in the house you call the plumber. So the plumber, let me give you a bonus. So this is plumbing. You have a bonus word. This is a job. This guy is a plumber. He fixes the pipes in the house. He's a plumber. Number six is plywood. To build any house, you use a certain type of wood. Many times it is plywood. Plywood. So let's look at a more detailed picture. Plywood house. So as you can see, before the room is finished, they use plywood. Uh, looking for a good. Plywood is large, flat pieces of wood. Okay, so here. You see on the side of this house, this is all called plywood. Number seven. Let's move on to number seven. Number seven is porch. On the front of a house, if you're lucky, you have a place where you can sit and relax, sit in a chair and enjoy the weather. Outside of the front door, we call that area, that outdoor seating area is called the porch. Porch. Number eight is rafters. Rafter is like the frame of the house. It's like the skeleton of the house. So you can see these pieces of wood. These are called rafters. Here's a good photo of the rafters that act as the skeleton or the frame of the top of the house. Above the rafters, we attach the roof, which is number nine, roof. So every house has a roof. And roofs can be different shapes and angles and sizes and materials. But the top of the house is always called the roof. Let's look at a few of these. Roof. Number 10 is room. So each area of the house is called a room. So you have a bedroom, living room, kitchen, bathroom. Each separate area is called a room. Number 11 is rug. In video part one of the house stuff, we had the word carpet and carpet and rug are pretty much the same thing. So number 11 is rug. A rug is a soft fabric that covers the floor that feels nice to walk on. It's very soft and comfortable rug. Number 12, we looked at nail up top. Number one was nail. So number 12 is, is screw. So a piece of hardware, we call this hardware that we use to build things and connect uh, or attach things together. We sometimes use a screw, screw. Number 13 is shelf. Shelf is a nice piece of furniture that we can store things on. We can put things on, maybe books or artwork or just nice things to decorate the house. We put these on the shelf. Shelf. Number 14 is sink. In the kitchen, in the bathroom, we have a sink. A sink is where the water flows and goes down through the plumbing to the outside. So this is called a sink. We have a kitchen sink, bathroom sink. So this is number 14, sink. Number 15 is sofa. In part one of the video, we had couch. Couch and sofa are the same thing. It's a long piece of furniture that goes into your living room. You can sit or lie down on the sofa. It's very comfortable and relaxing sofa sofa number 16 if you have upstairs and downstairs you have to get there somehow you walk on the stairs so if a house has an upper level or a lower level you use the stairs to travel between levels lots of stairs Number 17 is table. 
table. Table is a very simple piece of furniture, but very useful and functional. You can have a table in your living room. You can have a kitchen table, dining room table, uh, end table next to the sofa, computer table made of different materials, wood, glass, plastic. So many types of tables, table. Number 18. 18 you find in the bathroom, and that is called the toilet. Toilet. We're all familiar with the toilet. Number 19 is wall. Let's see, house wall. Wall. Let's see, uh, hallway wall. Let's see, bedroom wall. So the wall is what holds up the, the roof. So the walls are on all sides of the room. Wall. Number 20 is window. Window. Window is the glass that you look through so that you can see from inside to outside or outside to inside. The glass is clear, so you look through the window. Window. It lets light into the house. Window. Number 21 is wire, wire, uh, let's see, how about this, lamp wire. A wire is a piece of, it looks like string, but it carries electricity. The wire carries electricity, usually connecting a lamp so that you can have light. We use wiring for uh, lots of different things. These are all different types of wire, for mostly for electricity. And finally, number 22 is wood. Wood comes from trees and wood is used to build lots of things. We can take wood like this and turn it into a beautiful house. So wood comes from trees and you can make the floor, walls, ceiling, inside, outside, different colors and styles of wood. It's all very beautiful. You can actually put a, make a fence for the backyard out of wood. So that's it. So that's wood. That's number 22. And that's the end of our list. That's the end of part three of things that you find in and around a house. As always, please remember to like the video if you find the vocabulary useful. We're here to help you improve your English speaking skills so that you're more fluent, comfortable, and confident when you're communicating in English. There's so many vocabulary words. There's a lot to learn. So I hope that we're helping to help you to improve your understanding of vocabulary so that you become a better speaker and listener. If you have any questions, please leave your comments down below. Any suggestions for future vocabulary lists, let us know. We'd be happy to help. So thanks for joining. I hope you come back. Hope to see you again soon. And as always, have a great day and take care and and Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.